So we have a new AI video generator in the market that can create longest videos to create AI films, movies, or shorts. So yeah, I'm talking about the new Morph Studio, which offers all the new latest features that every other AI video generator tool offers. For example, text to video generation, image to video generation, lip sync. Hey guys, this is the sample track to test out the motion brush and all those amazing features. And not only that, through this tool, you can work on different videos simultaneously and merge those videos to create longest videos ever possible. So yeah, without further ado, let's just jump right into this exciting new tool, Morph Studio. All right, guys, so here I am in the homepage of morphstudio.com and right off the bat, you guys can see showing a Morph Studio, your story playground. So, you know, now with the help of Morph Studio, you can go ahead and create as many long AI videos as possible, like, you know, you can create your story AI films with the help of this amazing AI video generator that I'll be demonstrating to you guys in a moment. And over here, right out of the bat, you guys can see, so these are all the style options that this AI tool offers. So which include anime, luxury, pixel, cartoon, cyberpunk, all the way to the concept art. So it provides tons of style options for you guys as well, all right? So, you know, first of all, for creating videos in Morph Studio, you need to go ahead and click on this create button right over here. Then it will ask you to create your new projects. You can name your project from here. Let's just say I'm gonna name this as per my name. And then you can select your aspect ratio. I'm gonna select 16 by nine and click on create. And then after that, this is basically the kind of an interface. So first of all, we have short one. And over here, uh, by clicking on this plus button right over here, you can add as many shots as you want and create videos in each of the short box simultaneously, right? So this is very, very amazing. Like you can create up to like how many shots you want all at the same time, okay? Then if you talk about few more settings, so in this short box over here, you can input your prompt for text to video generation and you can click on this settings option. So you can select your model. So if you're working with text to video, you can choose text to video model if you are working image to video. So you can choose uh, the model as per you working. So first of all, we're gonna do text to video. So I'm gonna select that. And then we have some camera options over here as well. So you can choose your camera motions as well. Because obviously this AI video generator particularly focused on AI films. So we have camera options. You can choose between static, pan left, pan right, pan up, pan down, zoom in, zoom out, rotate, and all those options, okay? All right, and after that, uh, you can choose duration. So right off the bat, it gives you the option to generate 10 seconds long video, which is really, really good. And you can create as many videos as you want uh, you know, with different short types and merge all of them to create as much long video as you want, which is absolutely crazy. Then we have the option of motion as well. So you can choose motion intensity in your videos with this option. So yeah, uh, for that, I'm gonna select six, which is the default one. And then from this pin button right over here, you can attach your images as well for image to video generation, okay? So first of all, for a demonstration, we're gonna generate a single clip then we're gonna move to some of the complex use cases. So uh, over here, I'm gonna type in my prompt that simple prompt that old man reading in a cozy chair, okay? And I'm gonna choose my settings, uh, the camera motion. I'm gonna choose this as default, first of all, and see how well it goes. All right, duration, first of all, we're gonna do five seconds and motion, I'm gonna do five for that, okay? All right, so you need to click on this uh, blue plus button right over here. All right, so I'm gonna click on that. All right, and it basically provided me these results of an old man reading in a cozy chair. So take a look at this video, right? This looks really, really good. We have a very smooth animation in the video and you guys can see we have a little fire in the background and the camera motion, everything looks really, really good, right? And from here, you can basically go ahead and select more options. Either you can re-prompt, like you can re-enter uh, everything in the prompt and generate some other results or you can regenerate your same prompt or with the help of this style transfer options, you can now go ahead and convert your video to different style options. So it's gonna provide you nine different styles, uh, which include anime, animation, clay, fantasy, realistic, Pixar, like very, very interesting design options. And then you can choose duration, like you can increase the duration of your videos, and you can increase uh, the strength of 
the style options as well so yeah from here i basically went ahead and changed the style of my video into anime and animation and take a look at the anime video now right wow now this one looks absolutely perfect this was a realistic one and it changed that to the anime style like this looks really really good and then we also have the 3d animation as well like take a look at this all of these videos are really really perfect they look very accurate uh, but just we have a little style transfer option over here so yeah this one looks really really good right now the next one i really want to try out this lip sync feature like how it's going to perform so obviously for that we need to generate a portrait of any person from here so that we can generate some lip sync video right so for that i type in my prompt portrait of a young girl with freckles and a ponytail wearing a summer dress all right and for that it basically provided me this result all right this looks really really good and then from here i can simply click on this lip sync option and over here is asking me to upload my voice okay all right so from here i can go ahead and upload a voice which is right over here so this is basically a simple audio i recorded which is just around like six seconds so i'm gonna go ahead and upload that and from here i can easily click on this lip sync option and let's just wait for that and see how beautifully is going to lip sync my audio into my desired video, all right? Okay, guys, so it came up uh, with this lip sync video, you guys can see. Hey, guys, this is the sample track to test out. All right, so you guys can see uh, the lip syncing is really, really good. But the only odd thing is that the video was of a girl and it's with my voice, so it's looking quite odd. So for that, I basically went ahead and generated another video this time of seven seconds so that i can get all the audio in my desired video okay so for that it provided me this video right looks good and for that uh for the same audio it provided me this result hey guys this is the sample track to test out the lip sync feature in the morph studio app so yeah, you guys can see like uh the lip syncing is all good but it's only forming a bit of deformation uh in the beard uh, i guess because of that i think the lips aren't visible so yeah the there's some kind of a deformation in the beard other than that the lip syncing everything looks good and uh yeah this feature is really really good in more studio as well all right okay so next let's just go ahead and discuss image to video generation and what are the options in that in morph studio so for that, you need to go ahead and click on this pin button and this will allow you uh, to input your audio or your images here as well to change that to any other style and to animate those images as well, okay? So for that, I'm going to go ahead and go to my image library, all right? So this is the one and from here, I'm going to select any one image. Okay, let's just go ahead and choose this one. All right, and from here, it basically gives you a bit of more options as well. First, you can either go ahead and do motion brush. Like, you know, this is the same feature we saw in every other AI video generator nowadays. So yeah, let's just say I want to go ahead and just want my this object to move, okay? And I don't want any other motion in that. So I'm going to click on pen and I'm going to shade my object from here. All right, this looks good. Okay, so it's all done and I'm going to click on save. All right, perfect. And after that, I can go to uh, more settings from here. And the model it has selected is image to video now, obviously. All right, looks good. And from here... I can select my camera motion for my motion brush that I did earlier, okay? So let's just say for that, I want a zoom in or let's just say a zoom out effect, okay? And the duration I can select is of five seconds. Okay, looks good. And the motion, uh, six default is absolutely perfect. Okay, now let's just go ahead and generate this and see how well uh, the image to video generation performs in Morph Studio, okay? All right, so there you go, guys. This is a really beautiful animation. We have, you know, the animated object. We have a zoom out effect. And yeah, the animation on the expression uh, looks really, really good as well. So yeah, the video turned out really, really good. You guys can see. And yeah, this is how you can go ahead and do image to video generation in Morph Studio AI. All right, so besides all these features, there's another very cool feature about Morse Studio and what this is really famous for is that now you can go ahead and do batch upload over here. Like you can upload up to 10 images or videos and you can edit between them. You can play around between them like very, very easily. So I'm going to click on this batch upload 
So it's saying upload, uh, select and upload up to 10 images or videos. So I'm going to upload my 10 images from here, which will all be, uh, you can say kind of a related because they will have consistent style, consistent character. So I'm going to select my 10 images from here. All right. Uh, so these are nine. And after that, I'm going to click on this upload button. All right. So here you guys can see now my all images, like nine images are uploaded over here. So first of all, I'm going to delete these previous shots and I only want to play around with these images that I just uploaded. So I'm going to delete the previous ones. All right, so it's all done. And now I can go ahead and animate all these images. And then I'm going to show you an amazing feature of More Studio. Like you can go ahead and export all of these videos all together to create like one. So it will be kind of a one minute complete video out of all these clips. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to go ahead and generate all of these videos. All right. So these are all in job queue. So it's going to take around a bit of a time. So I'll be right back when all the videos are done. Okay. All right. So here we go. So all of our videos are done. You guys can see we have all the animations over here for our nine clips. So now there's another very cool thing about More Studio is if you want to go ahead and export all of this together so that, you know, all of the videos should merge and create some kind of an AI film because all of these videos have consistent character, consistent style, right? All right, so I basically attached all the strings together. You can see the blue line going all the way, connecting all my clips. And yeah, now uh, at the end of the shot, I have connected this to the export box, right? So it will give the video for that at the end. Okay, so from here, I can simply click on this export button and it will ask me to if either I want to download separate clips or I want to download full video. So I want to go ahead and download the full video. So I'm going to click on this. All right, so it's going to export the whole length video of all the clips that I generated together in one video. Like, take a look at this. Wow, this looks absolutely perfect, right? The animation, everything turned out really, really good. We have good animation and the transition between the video, like all the clips are now joined together to give me that beautiful effect. And this is looking like some kind of an AI film. And yeah, this is up. You can go ahead and create longest videos in more studio. You can have your own studio. You can create AI films, everything you want and customize it as per your liking. Okay. So yeah, I hope you like this video guys and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.